after we saw Dr. King and after we saw Malcolm get assassinated, Patrice Lumumba, Mega Evers, I mean the 60s, they tried to take everybody they could find. That put so much fear in subsequent black leadership that they are still cowards to this day. Which is why I say respectfully, there's not one of them who I could point a little black, a young black boy to and say, you know what, you should be like him when you grow up. Not one of them. Because the average black leader today is really not a black leader. He is a deal broker. The job of the black leader is to broker power deals between the structure and the black masses. Let me give you an example. A riot's about to kick out outside. Cops beat down a brother. Brother's about to go and tear up the police district. The leader should do what? Come in, organize it. Say, hold on brothers, before we go there, there's another way we can handle this thing. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. In other words, you organize the energy, you redirect it into a direction that is most likely to bring the desired result. They don't do that. They don't redirect the energy. You know what they do? They dissipate the energy. Go back home. Let the law prevail. Let's settle it on election day. You follow me? Let's get some plaque cards and march around the police district. Let's do something that don't mean a damn thing to white folks. This is what they do. Deal brokers. That's all they do. They send them in to dissipate the energy and send you home and you never hear about the incident again. People who march are powerless. You don't march for what you want, you take what you want. Everybody knows that. The mafia knows that. You go and you take what you want. You take what you want, you establish your, uh, your, your superiority and your seniority over that, and that's yours. You don't go marching for somebody to give you anything. That is insane and inane. We don't do that anymore. That's one thing we could at least learn. Don't go marching for a damn thing anymore. Take what you know is yours, work towards becoming better and understanding how your adversary works. Work towards understanding the tactics of your adversary. Read the art of war and read all things having to do with tactics, mental, psychological, as well as physical, as well as military. Understand the way that chess is played. Teach your children how to play chess because it has them working both sides of their brain.